What's going on guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm at the Sydney airport about to hop on my 12 flight this year and we are headed to Adelaide to the TMJ headquarters. I have a two-day work trip there which I'm really excited about. It's going to be jam-packed with activities. I'm going to be like recording the podcast, holding a posing workshop. It's going to be like filled to the brim. Like the moment we land we have things going on and whatnot so it's really exciting and um, yeah this is the last leg of my little world tour. I have been obviously um, back on track but not a hundred percent this past week initially the goal to come back was to uh, push hard to lose the extra weight I kind of overshot that a little bit so I kind of dropped a little bit too much weight so I have been giving myself refeeds here and there I've kind of been just been doing my own thing because um, it was just hard getting back with the jet lag and then I was like a little bit sick for a while and um, just wanted to spend a little bit of time with um, Jeremy's sister and just enjoy Sydney a little bit more as well so I have been back in semi prep mode I've been back in semi prep mode but still it has been kind of flexible Jeremy's here he's having a what are you having for breakfast I'm having a sumo salad chicken avocado sandwich with extra chicken yeah, they toasted sandwiches? as well yeah they toasted it for me uh, that was good so it'll be healthy you know because you gotta eat healthy while flying that it's actually looks bread. really good oh that's a lot of protein did you get double meat yeah Ah, uh, is it chicken breast? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's chicken avocado. Sandwich. Well, tip for you guys, if you, you know, see my salad does so good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I would have ate it myself. So this morning I had chicken, um, sourdough toast, ABC spread and some jam. I just wanted to make sure I was like well fed because I really, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be eating is. So, um, yeah, my eating has not been consistent. So there's a lot of days when my weight has dropped quite low. So. The last few days, I've just been focusing on like refeeding, eating back up. Uh, yesterday, I tracked fully, so carbs are like past 200 grams now. Um, so I did gain a good amount of weight back. So I'm sitting at about 1.4 kilos above my lower stage weight, which I'm happy with um, to kind of maintain around here. And then the moment I get back to Perth, um, we're full speed ahead with prep mode, but we're trying to grown to the show per se because I'm pretty close to stage weight so we'll see how the next two days go in Adelaide I don't want to be overly well I have some chicken that I froze up and whatnot but I just I just kind of have to go with the flow um, the experience memories and you know just have a good time um, with doing everything with Massive Joe's is priority for the next two days and then when I head back to Perth it's yeah 100% eyes on the prize so I'm just excited to get back to my regular gym do my regular stuff I uh, haven't even been doing any cardio at all steps have been quite high obviously just because on holiday so I don't know if I'll need to do cardio when I get back we'll just have to see but ideally I should be in a good spot where I just train eat a little bit more and then just like slowly grow into the show ideally and then maybe like uh, last four weeks or so like cut back down if I need to I don't really know Oh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, about to board my flight in about half an hour. And then it's a two and a half hour flight and we'll be in Adelaide. It's the first time I'm in Adelaide, so I'm pretty excited about that. Where are we right now? We are in the Massive Joe's headquarters in Adelaide with Joe. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> We're here, finally, you made it. Yes, finally, after being locked in Perth for so long, we are here. So, and this is my last stop before heading back to Perth. Yeah. So, I'm pretty excited. Thanks mm. for having me. <laughs> Hi, Hello. it's me. Hi, everyone. Yeah, yeah, you can record everything. Uh, everything perfect. in there. Yes. <laughs> Um, Everyone loves to be in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's used to being in front of the camera, so it's no, no big deal. Um, yeah, so this is, our, this is our main office. This is where everyone who works here um, works, a kind of communal office setup. Um, you know, it's good for us um, collaborating with each other and screaming at each other. No, we don't screw, we don't screw at each other. But, um, but this is awesome. So Vince technically is our business development manager. 
um, but he's the go-to. Vince's business development assistant. Ah, cool. Um, so he runs the pitch there. <laughs> from uh, 2018, oh. so I turned pro in 2017. Oh, okay, so it's not even the same colour. No, oh. no, so we never had any of these like novelty, oh, novelty yeah. pro cards, but 2018, because I'm a promoter as well, yeah. so I was there of with course. most of the promoters, and um, this was just floating around on stage and no one took it, and I'm like, like it's mine now. yoink, <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking that, so yeah, and I'll take you through the first. This is our boardroom here. Um, this is kind of cool. This is where we have all of our management meetings. Um, uh, this we have seen we, this, this is, video, actually. This is where we shoot the podcast. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so this will be set up for us tomorrow for the podcast inspiration you guys will see around yeah. the place. So there's all the pictures behind Arnold and Michael Jordan. There's a Jordan picture yeah. behind oh, there. Stanley Cup. Yeah. Um, which we used to do inside. So we had Kai Green come a couple of times. Um, 2015 was his first visit. Yeah. Um, Steve Cook we had a couple of times as well. Seth came in 2019. Um, that was Kai's second visit in 2016. We had Ronnie Coleman come uh, three times. Oh, wow. I reckon that was his second or third visit in Flinders Park. This is when I look back and I go, shit, I should have put the years on them because like, yeah. this one I've got <laughs> the year these, yeah. and this one I've just got the date and I'm like, I can't remember what year it was. Um, and then on this side, we've got some of our, um, the tours that we've got, a couple of store openings and then a couple of tours that we've done um, to help and inspire people to improve their lives through health and fitness by providing products, information and experiences. And so this board, whenever we get um, Instagram DMs, Snapchat messages, Facebook messages, whatever, um, where it's more than just like, you know, thanks for the fast shipping, yeah, um, yeah, love your products, yeah. but it's something deep where it's like, you know, I've been following you guys, um, you've literally changed my life or helped me improve my life. Yeah. Um, we print them out and we put them on here. And this is like oh, our, we're helping people improve their lives through what we do. You know, we, the vehicle is supplements and apparel and yeah. videos and that, but this is, this is what it's about. Yeah. So that's cool. So there's, some, there's some pretty cool, cool messages up. Um, yeah, always there's... And then there's always Muhammad Ali. so much mm. shit. Like, oh, just from like oh. companies and whatnot. Yeah. And then this is, um, I guess, the media side of the building. So we've got a couple of different things happening in here. We're actually going to build this out to become a, a standalone podcast oh, room. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, that's kind of where we're heading with this. But at the moment, Luke uses this for all of his creative videos. Oh, yeah. Um, so he's got the different coloured papers he can pull up and down. He's got different tabletops that he flips on and off, mm -hmm. all the lighting and whatnot. Um, so it's mainly just a creative um, studio. Yeah. We do shoot some vlogs and stuff. I think I've shot some outros for a few of my videos in here as yeah. well. Um, just a creative space. So this is this is where we shoot. Um, yeah, all like the raw reviews yeah, and the, the sub and, and awesome. basic breakdowns and um, when magic happens. Yeah, <laughs> all the all the, yeah. the informational supplement content gets yeah. shown here. Um, so this is like the proper film studio with all the acoustic um, insulation and whatnot. Oh. That's give it. Uh, I, I want to say Kanye, but it's not Kanye. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Kanye. I keep thinking about Kanye, but I just know he's not Kanye. Yeah. But every time someone guesses that, I always say, when they say whoever it is, I say, no, it's Kanye. Like just, 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 did you guess this guy? Oh. Yeah, I guess Kanye. <laughs> oh, you guess Kanye? <laughs> I, I, I demand that it's yeah, 0.5 or by. Yeah. <laughs> that is something close. Yeah. The actual cable. The one that's really hard. What about that other guy? <laughs> two, two pack? That's what Jerry said. Did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, not two pack. Oh, God. It looks like the guy who plays two pack in the movie. When he yeah. tells you, you're gonna be like, oh gosh. I think, like, yeah. you, you're kind of like, oh. <laughs> you're gonna be like, oh. I feel like, I feel like I should know this guy. Of all the people, like, because I, 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 I love, like, listening they to think, people around think, like, 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 they give me a head, like, think Biggie days. And that's why I said two pack. But. <laughs> no, that's why I said. But think, think Biggie. I don't know. 
You know what? I'm yeah. just going to let you have the win. <laughs> no, but you, <laughs> you got MLK, you got Albert. Okay, that's the original. Think about the uh, pickup. Bill Gates? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Bill look Gates? like Bill Gates, but... Jeff Bezos? Not, right? <laughs> yeah, probably not. You're in the right ballpark. Oh, it's Steve Jobs? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's close. Microsoft fans, we love Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Yeah, you definitely. Yeah. But yeah, I shouldn't guess them because it's from the slogan, think different. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's like, it's an Apple yeah, oh, yeah, damn it. Yeah. I'm an Apple fan too, I should know that. <laughs> Have fun in your club. Where are we going? It's now 6.20, we're in Adelaide. I had a full day. I'm like really exhausted because I woke up at 4 a.m. But we're headed to the last activity for the day which is the posing workshop. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I'm really excited. So, um, yeah, excited to see who's gonna show up. If you are someone that's coming to the workshop and watching, thank you so much for coming. I, um, I don't know, I was like a little bit worried that like maybe no one would come. So whoever does show up, I'm gonna give them my 110%. I'm just gonna be doing some posing, some chatting. I'm gonna give them some tips and let them ask me whatever questions they wanna ask me, I guess. So hopefully it all goes well. And then I'll try to get some sleep tonight and we've got a full on, full on day tomorrow. I may or may not train tomorrow morning. Um, I think Amy wants to train, which I'm always up to train, but at the same time, I'm also really tired because I have a full day, but you know how much I love training and I love training at different gyms as well. So I probably will take her up on the offer to train tomorrow morning. And then we got some photo shoots and then we're going to be shooting the podcast. So, and then it's straight to the airport. So really intense. And then I'm excited to get back into routine the moment we touch down in Perth. So I'll get back tomorrow evening, get a good night's sleep. And then Friday, full speed ahead with tracking macros. I did what I could trying to eat relatively okay today, considering I'm on the go and whatnot. We had like a Greek bowl just before. And then before that we had some sushi and I had a little bit of chicken breast as well. So that's what I've eaten today so far. So I think I'm, I'm kind of estimating my macros and I'm still kind of within what I've been eating the last few days, but I'm excited to get back into strict, strict tracking the moment I land in Perth. Posey, yes. Yes. Going in the wrong direction. Super gym. That's old school super gym style. Are you nervous? Um. Okay. <laughs>
It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. to the Fitness Times Business Podcast, the show created to provide you with the practical and strategic advice to help you level up in fitness, business, your career, your relationships, and your life. My name is Joseph Medsell. I am your host, and you guys are in for an absolute treat in today's episode. I have sitting across from me, IFBB Bikini Pro, Nicole Tan. What's going on, guys? Thanks for having me. It's been great visiting Adelaide and the headquarters and it's seeing been, everyone. It's been pretty cool, hasn't it? It's your first, uh, your first trip here to Adelaide. Yes. Uh, and I'm, I should have introduced you, but I just got straight to the point. But, um, <laughs> you're, you're an MJ and TMJ Power Sponsored Athlete, of course, uh, which is uh, why we've brought you to Adelaide for your very first visit. Uh, and you've been here for a couple of days. We've been doing a whole bunch of media, a whole bunch of content. And of course, I had to get you here on the Fitness Times Business Podcast. Um, I'm super excited to have our chat today. And we have so much to get through. Um, so I don't want to waste any time. And we're recording just before you need to get to the airport. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to make sure that we don't run over. It is now Wednesday, the 1st of June. And as you can see... I am back in my room, I'm back in Perth, and um, it's been good so far. So I like obviously talked a lot about how much like I really wanted to leave Perth um, before all this, but after being away, it's good to come back to routine. So I don't exactly miss Perth as a state or country per se. Things I do miss is obviously my family, my dog, my friends, and my house, in my mom's house, we have like lots of space here, like my room, sleeping in my own bed, just like the really basic stuff, like my pillow. I miss going to my Cairo. I miss going to my regular remedial massage person. I miss um, the girl who does my hair and just getting me all put together. So this week coming back is all about putting myself together. Yeah, most important things. I also, I miss my local Woolies. I miss my air fryer where I regularly cook my stuff. And um, I miss my gym. I miss my gym so much. And coming back, like the first thing I did was obviously like, you know, a grocery shop to get all my essentials. I did my meal prep. I got really, really, really good workouts in. Like yesterday I had the best glute workout, like, like for the longest time. So recently I've been training legs mainly. So I'll do a quad day with a bit of glutes and then I do a hamstring day with a bit of glutes and I, it's always been very leg focused. So yesterday I finally did like a glute focused leg day and oh my God, like I was so sore yesterday and I'm so sore today and I'm just, just being so, so sore. 
It was like intense and I've just been having really great workouts. I also started to run out of supplements. So it's good that like I'm back and I got my restock off my stuff. Um, I got like a new bunch of gym clothes to change into. I was just re-wearing the same stuff again and again. It all seems so small, but all these things put me in like my good routine and good environment to hop straight back into prep mode, which I am now. So I am nine weeks out of like my next show. So it's just been good being back and being into routine and I feel like myself again after getting my hair redone and getting my Cairo adjustment. My Cairo is leaving for a holiday himself, so but it was good to get my adjustment in. I will I'll be getting another one just before he leaves and he yeah, just getting all my appointments in and just just to feel like myself again and just, you know, it's good to explore other places and like what they have in the different like grocery stores and whatnot there. But for like prep prep, I like to eat my same stuff, cook my stuff the same way, just go to my regular Woolies and buy my regular stuff. So I'm super boring and that's all I craved, that's all I wanted and I'm feeling right back into prep mode again. It took me a few days to kind of readjusting it was a long process like unpacking and it was just a little bit overwhelming when I first came back I'm not gonna lie and I was just not really quite in the best headspace just like feeling really kind of stressed I guess but now that I got my regular bed and I reordered my night night ops I have all my sleep supplements and whatnot again I'm finally sleeping well so last two nights I finally had some good sleep so um, that has helped a lot just like sleeping and all that and like just my workouts have just been on another level like I don't even know how to say how good my workouts has been maybe because I got like my pre-workout and my pump formula and all that stuff so so a mixture of the supplements and the gym so getting my supplements in my gym and just yeah back into your routine so my next video I probably will take you guys through like you know my supplements and training and just regular schmegular stuff maybe a grocery haul comment below what you like to see off now that I'm like back in prep I know you've obviously watched like my whole prep series and it just like just finished so yeah just if you want to see what I'm doing right now but basically I'm in a maintenance phase I'm somewhat maintaining about a kilo above stage weight um, I do still kind of feel like I did lose a bit of muscle in the last few weeks just kind of like just not training consistently because peak week we don't get to train that hard and then I was like you know on holiday and traveling and all that kind of stuff so now I'm slowly I think maybe starting to get the fullness back into my muscles I am eating a little bit more but not that much because like I said I am trying to be in a maintenance phase at the moment and then we'll probably push through it a little bit more in the coming weeks but for now just kind of maintaining which has been good i've just been enjoying being able to enjoy how my body looks through this maintenance phase i'm really enjoying how i'm looking how i'm feeling energy wise pretty good considering so it's just a sign for me that my body is telling me that it's happy to continue with a prep if my body was telling me that it was done and needed a break i would 100 percent stop but um all signs point towards my body being okay and ready for us to push on harder than ever before to continue another nine weeks of prep so yeah if I was not training well and stuff I would I would get all the signs you know so the only thing that's been hard is obviously like because now my metabolism is kind of speeding up which is great however it's making me really hungry so I am dealing a lot with the hunger feelings but the energy is there I got the energy my sleep is here and there I do get solid sleep now however I'm still like in, in that prep zone when my body doesn't let me sleep in overly much or whatnot so um, I'm not sleeping a whole lot but I'm, I'm getting good quality sleep so it's just the sleep and the hunger side of things like I said even though I'm eating more the hunger is still kind of getting to me but the main thing is I'm not having to do a ton of cardio, which is great. So my energy levels um, are definitely there. So that's the main thing. Energy and brain is functioning well. Hormones are not bad as well. Like I said, I did get my period. So that means everything is functioning well. So we're all good. We're ready to push on. So I'm going to end today's video here because it has been quite a long one. Just letting you see what I got up to in Adelaide and just giving you an update on like where I am at right now. So might do a full day of eating to show you guys what I'm eating right now. I've just been, I've been able to be a bit more flexible with my stuff, including a little bit more sauces back in. And I do have some artificial sweeteners and whatnot, which I normally will cut out towards the end. So, um, yeah, I've been enjoying my foods. Like my foods have been great. I've been experimenting with different stuff, including more things back.
back into my diet, like a little bit more gluten. Also, yeah, fruit and veg. So I have been staying away from fruit and veg because that's what I kind of cut out towards the end of my prep. And then even after prep finished, I was very hesitant to slowly include it back in because it tends to be generally the stuff that messes with my digestion. Like all the junk and the sugar, my body digests fine. But when it comes to veggies and fruits, usually I do tend to get a bit of an issue. So slowly including those back in. So yeah, just slowly including different food sources back into my diet and doing a little bit more fun foods, not eating too much of the same stuff. So generally I like to eat the same stuff when I'm like close to comp, but now I allow myself a little bit more flexibility, still staying within my same set macros. So I'm aiming for about 200 carbs at the moment. Protein stayed the same, fats are still low at 35. And it's pretty good numbers, but I am still hungry, but I'm able to maintain about a kilo above stage weight um, on these macros, on zero cardio, which is great. I do, I have been aiming to get 10K steps today. However, I haven't actually been hitting it every single day. So it's been pretty good, the maintenance process so far. So I will be taking you guys along that journey. So this will be a bit of a different prep process, doing a bit more of a maintenance into a reverse. I'm not quite sure exactly what the next few weeks will entail, but I'm happy to continue sharing this journey with you guys. So thank you for following along everything. I hope you've enjoyed the travel vlogs, the shopping vlogs, and but yeah, now we'll get back into a little bit more fitness content. So thanks for watching, supporting me, and I'm gonna put a lot more effort into the YouTube channel as well. Like I've been really consistent with my videos, so that's something I aim to upkeep and keep doing. So. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one.